Hey everybody, lots to cover in the Restrict Content Pro tutorial. So I'm gonna try to break it out into the different sections, make it a little bit easier to, to uh, digest here. Uh, so we're gonna start with the general tab. And if you uh, just set up your Restrict Content Pro plugin, first thing you wanna do is come here and install your license key. License key is important for so many reasons. Number one, being support, uh, gets you access to uh, your premium plugin support channel. It also gives you the updates be it security or features that uh, Restrict Content Pro team is putting out. So make sure that the first thing you do is come in here and paste in your license key and hit save. Now, the next five options here are fairly self-explanatory. They're the registration, success, account, edit profile, and update billing page. These are all the pages that are behind the scenes. Well, actually the registration page isn't, but the other four are. These are the ones that are behind the scenes that people, after they register, they see it. Uh, when they log back in, this is the dashboard that they're presented with. If they want to change their profile settings, billing settings, all of that stuff. Uh, these are the pages that you can assign to do that, right? But what you'll notice under these little drop-down fields are short codes. Uh, and then these short codes can be used on any page. So for example, when you install this stuff, uh, when you install the plugin, it creates a register page. It says, hey, we're gonna create register page and that's gonna be the page that people use <laughs> to register for their membership account, right? Makes total sense. Um, but if you want a, the registration form on another page, maybe you wanna create different landing pages, different, different squeeze marketing pages, no problem, you can copy and paste this short code and place that on any page. I'm gonna show you an example of that in a minute so you can see that. Uh, and the rest of the options here are the uh, like the auto renew um, option. Select the auto renew behavior you would like subscription levels to have. So pretty much this says you will always auto renew these subscription levels, you will never auto renew these subscription levels, or you'll let the customer choose whether to auto renew or not. Um, so important for many reasons, real quick, Having auto renew on for the website owner, for the membership website owner, means that you will be getting those recurring payments. So it's going to auto renew. It's going to set up the uh, the billing, and it's going to keep going. It means you're going to be getting paid. Your customer is going to continue to receive content. However, maybe you don't want that to happen. So you might set it to never auto renew, right? So that means that the person has to come in and renew their subscription um, or let the customer decide, which gives customers some transparency, gives them some trust, it gives them some confidence to say, look, if I wanna just stop this billing from happening or I don't want my membership to renew for whatever reason, I can log into my profile page or my update billing card page, change that and shut that off. Um, makes total sense. Last two options, these are the messages that the user is presented with or the visitor to your membership site are presented with when they come to free content and premium content. Now I talked about this in the overview video of Restrict Content Pro. Um, you can set up a free level that so many membership sites uh, or we're all used to having some sort of free, right? When we sign up to a membership service or a service in general. So the free content message is presented when you have content restricted just for the free level and the premium content message for people who are actually paying you. So you might set up in this scenario, you have your new membership site, you're ready to roll, and free content, you're giving away free content. You're giving away, let's see, this three-part course or whatever it might be. You give that away for free. The only thing that people have to do is register. They have to hand over their name uh, and create a user account and give you their email address. And maybe you might market to them uh, through that way and hopefully upsell them to a premium account. You might do something like that. So you wrap some content with the restrict tag, which I'll show you in a little bit, and then you upsell to other premium content. Uh, and here you can formulate that message. So just so you can see, for example, I say, hey there, this content is available for free when you register and I link it to the registration page. And you can make this whatever you want. I really like that about Restrict Content Pro. You can kind of customize these messages and tailor it to your marketing message or your branding message. And then for the premium content, I say, hey there, this content is available to members only. Consider registering for an account. You can put in whatever you want. Uh, Restrict Content Pro doesn't restrict you <laughs> from doing that. Let's take a look at a quick example of the short codes and the messages so you can actually see the stuff um, in action. Let's go to a page. And I have this free page already set up uh, so you can see that. So in this example, this shows you, this is gonna be one of my free pages to a free member uh, le membership level that I've already set up. And it says, this content is available for free and serves as a teaser to protect the content below. Again, 
total examples for this video. And then you can see here that I have these restrict tags and the restrict or the, res the short codes. So you put in a little short code, it says restrict, and then you put all the content you want below that. Now, because we're in the WordPress editor, you can put in any content that you want. And it's the, um, it's up to you, right? So this could be any content within uh, the post, or you could be restricting this stuff through uh, the subscription level below. But if you don't want to do that, like if you want to leave bits of the page uh, open uh, without registration, like I have here, you could have a, like an explainer video or a couple of explainer paragraphs, and then the rest of the content is restricted. You can do that kind of uh, granularity with Restrict Content Pro and many other membership plugins too, in fact. So you can see here I've restricted the um, this little quote by Mark Twain. Let's just take a look at the page from the front end just so you can see it as an example. So you can see here's my content, awesome free page. This content is available, blah, 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 blah. So what does it look like when you're not registered uh, this page? So I'm going to open up an incognito window and it's going to say, hey, here's this content available for free and serves as a teaser to protect the content below. And then I have this this message it says, hey there, this content is available for free when you register. So you can't see the Mark Twain as I uh, tab back over to the, I'm logged in, of course, uh, logged in page. You can see the quote here. You can't see it here until you click register and then create an account. And as you can see, I have this freebie free plan uh, for one year. It's free, of course, and people can register. And because that content is available to the free people um, or the free folks, then uh, they can see it, right? So let's go back and I'm gonna show you one more piece uh, in this uh, first getting started piece. And if I can find it, yep, restrict, we're gonna go to subscription levels. And you can see here, this is the plan that I created before. It's called freebie. It's the free plan. <laughs> uh, it's got an access level of zero. I'll talk about that in a little bit. The duration is for one year. So you can set up these durations for whatever you want. It could be seven days. It could be 365, whatever, whatever the number is. And you can set that up in the duration, days, months, and years. Um, zero for unlimited. But many folks say, hey, maybe you get your first year free and then after that, you kind of got to pay for the pro plan or whatever it might be. Um, so this gives you a quick overview of that. You can see how many subscribers you have that are, um, you know, have joined on that particular plan. And I'm going to hit edit just so you can see it. You give it the description here. Again, price is zero, sign up fee is zero. These are all things that you can edit to change your price points um, later on. Uh, active or inactive, I talk about this in the overview video, but if you wanted to say that, hey, look, when somebody registers, you're not immediately active until I say so. You might run a membership site or like a mastermind course and you make you want to make sure that even if somebody registered, that you check them out, right? You might want to check their profile or you might want to look at their email address or maybe you want to have sort of a one-on-one -on -one interview with them outside of you know your website and it, it's a very manual process. You can set the status to inactive so they can't access anything until you go into their user account and hit active. You know, something that I can see a, a lot of different uh, membership sites doing, in fact. And then the user role, that's a little bit more advanced for most of you. You'll be giving them the subscriber role unless you're doing roles, uh, WordPress roles with other features of your website. That one's a little bit more advanced. But for all uh, intents and purposes, you can just focus on leaving it as the subscriber, right? No harm, no foul. Uh, and that's really the first things that you're setting up. You're setting up your, generals, your general page. You're throwing in, I'm on the wrong page. You're throwing in your license key. You're making sure that your registration pages are all set up and your account pages are all set up, which they will be by default, but if you want to move them around, you can place those short codes on any page or post throughout your site. And you're setting up your free content messages or, for, or free or premium content messages. And you're getting sort of this housekeeping stuff out of the way before you begin. And then the next thing you do is you go over to your subscription level and you create your uh, your new subscription. Again, I have free. You can set up another one with a price point if you want to. So uh, that's just getting started with Restrict Content Pro. That's a first uh, quick uh, overview of getting started, showing you how to set up these options, 
how to put them on pages and what it looks like to uh, protect content. We're going to dive in a little bit more features uh, in the next video. If this video was helpful, we'd love to get a uh, YouTube like, of course, uh, and share it with friends, family, and whoever else you can on the internet. Hope you find it useful. Check it out. Uh, check out the next videos coming up. Thanks, everybody.